everyone. Today is December 28th, 2020. I'm going to take you through our Metcon workout today. Uh, we have two parts today and we have our warm up. So we'll go through our warm up, our skill part, and then our, our workout of the day. Um, so for our warm up, we're going to go through four minutes of calories. We're using calories uh, for the workout. So you can choose bike, row, or skier. Uh, if you don't have calories, then we're going to go ahead and do a four minute run. Um, hopefully, if the weather is agreeing with you. So we'll do four minutes of that. And then we're going to go into two rounds of uh, 20 shoulder taps, 20 kettlebell deadlifts, uh, 20 kettlebell uh, press, and then 10, 20, uh, I'm sorry, 10 uh, kettlebell deadlifts, 10 uh, overhead press with a kettlebell, and then 10 uh, kettlebell swings. So for our cardio, once again, we're going to choose, um, we're going to choose our uh, bike, rower, skier, okay, whatever uh, way we have of tracking our calories. Uh, for the warm-up and then our shoulder taps we're going to get into a push-up position we're going to be working on some planks today uh, so we're actually going to get into a push-up position and then just touch our shoulder 20 times so we're in this position and we're just tapping our shoulder looking to maintain tight positioning okay we don't want to sag our hips we don't want to pike our hips we want to keep our hips straight engage the core uh, because we're going to be doing some plank holds um, in a moment so show 20 shoulder taps then we're going to do 10 kettlebell deadlifts just to get ready for our kettlebell swings later on. So you're gonna straddle your kettlebell, okay, in between your legs, just gonna stand all the way up, bring the weight all the way back down. And we'll do 10 uh, kettlebell deadlifts. Next, we're gonna go 10 kettlebell presses. So you're actually gonna hold the kettlebell by your goblet, and we're just gonna press overhead and just get the shoulders to open up. So if we wanna be in this position, in front rack position, we wanna press that kettlebell overhead, all right? Then we're going to go into our kettlebell swing. We have kettlebell swings for the workout. So we're going to get the kettlebell in between our hips. We're just going to go all the way overhead, back, all the way up. We're looking to get the kettlebell overhead when we finish. Uh, we want to modify that. We can go eye level. All right, so for our first part, we have 12 minute EMOM of our skills. So we're going to go 45 seconds of a plank hold, a diamond push up, and then as well as towel rocks. So the plank hold, we're looking to maintain a, a tight position. Okay, we don't want to have our hips sag. And we want to challenge ourselves on our elbows. So we want to be here on our elbows where we're holding this position. If that's challenging to you, you can go to that modified position with your arm and push up position. You don't want to sag the hips. And you also don't want to pike the hips. All right, so that's going to be our plank hold. We're going to try to hold on for 45 seconds. If that's challenging, then do it from the knee or even from your elbows and knees. Next is going to be the diamond push-up. This is a new skill, okay? But when we're thinking about diamond push-ups or even regular push-ups, we want to make sure we're paying attention to where our elbows are going. We want to make sure our elbows are going straight back and tucked at our sides. So we want to make sure that we have that 90 degree, well, we're in that 45 degree uh, area. We're not at that 90 degree because this actually hurts your shoulders. But you don't want to do your push-ups from this position. You want to tuck those elbows right at your sides and then just press in that way. Same way you would do a dip. Uh, and we're going to keep that in mind whether we're doing regular push-ups or diamond push-ups. Now, diamond push-ups, our hands are going to be closer. We're going to put our hands on the ground. We're just going to tuck our elbows back, and then we're going to press. What's going to happen here? It's just a different vari variation of the push-up. Help you to get stronger with your push-up. Uh, we do have push-ups in the Metcon, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we are, will be doing a lot of upper body today, so you might be taxed, but uh, all in all, a good workout for your upper body and uh, developing those push-ups. So keep that diamond push up, tuck your elbows back, bring your hands right to your chest, and then press straight out. And you can do that in a regular push up position or modified from the knee. Now the hollow rock position, we're gonna get into the hollow position, and then we're just gonna rock back and forth. Now some variations to this, this might be challenging. Just keep your hands right in front of you as you rock, okay? But if that's still too challenging, you can actually tuck one leg and rock this way and just alternate both sides. It's a little easier uh, to rock back and forth doing it that way. So if you can't maintain a uh, good positioning in that hollow rock for the full 45 seconds, just bring one knee to your chest and rock that way and just alternate to the other side. So we're gonna go every minute on a minute for 12 minutes. Uh, so minute one, you're gonna plank hold, minute two, you're gonna diamond push up hold, and then I would do as many diamond push ups as possible. And in minute three, you're gonna do your hollow rocks, okay? Um, and then we're going to repeat that um, for uh, the full 12 minutes. All right, then we're going to rest a little bit, then we're going to get into our Metcon. So our Metcon today, uh, we're going to go up in, in reps. So we're going to uh, start off at 
four reps of each. So you'll do four push-ups, four calories, four kettlebell swings. Then you're gonna add two reps with each round. So then it's gonna be six push-ups, six calories, six kettlebell swings, uh, eight push-ups, eight uh, calories, eight kettlebell swings, and then uh, 10, 12, 14, all the way up as high as you can go. All right, so we have the push-ups. We should have already establish our standards for the push-ups uh, from our diamond push-ups. So if you're doing your diamond push-ups from the knee, just uh, push your hands out and do your uh, push-ups from your knee um, with regular, regular uh, shoulder width, okay? Um, then the calories, we established that for our four minute warm up piece. And then our kettlebell swings, we should have already established that as well. Uh, our expectations on this workout, break up those push-ups early so that you can uh, avoid fatigue. Um, move quickly on those lower reps on the calories. And then once you get into those higher rep range, uh, just try to maintain a, a moderate pace or a faster pace on that. And then you have your kettlebell swing. We're looking to go on broken on everything. So we have an interesting one. Okay, you have an upper body push and then you have a pull with the kettlebell swing. Um, and then you have the calories, which is gonna tax your cardiovascular system. So uh, uh, definitely gonna be a good workout. We're gonna go for a period of 14 minutes. Uh, expectation anywhere between <clears throat> uh, 12 rounds all the way up to 16 or, or into that 18th uh, rep range, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and then make sure you post your workouts. Go on Wattify, have a good workout.